Good morning. Welcome to the Opera One Poland webinar. Today's topic is life hacking on the operating system of the SAP system. I am happy to introduce our expert, Mateusz Wodarczak. My name is Octavia Radio, and I am the moderator of this presentation. Let's start by sharing some organizational information with you. Today's webinar is recorded and it will be available on our YouTube channel. You are invited to ask any questions. You can do it using the question window on the panel in the right side. Mateusz will answer all the questions after the presentation and you will receive the answers by email. Now I will present a short introduction about the company and I will give the floor to Mateusz very soon. First, a few words about us. We are all from Poland, the largest provider of SAP services in Poland. But we also specialize in providing services in IT security issues. We provide services related to implementing and developing information security management systems and supporting customers in building business continuity plans. During today's meeting, we will discuss a major concern. Is your company ready for a hacker attack on your SAP system? During the session, our expert will present a live attack on the operating system. Of course, we will also show the ways to protect your system, for example, using penetration tests. That's all from my side. Mateusz, it's your turn. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew uh, and I'm uh, deeply passionate about ethical hacking. I'm a diehard enthusiast of computer networks and Linux-based systems. Currently, I have the privilege of serving as a penetration tester at Auto One Poland, where my day-to-day -day involves assessing the security of various systems and helping uh, to fortify them against attacks. But let's wind uh, a little bit. My journey in IT started way back in 1996 when I embarked on a freelancing career. During that time, I primarily focused on servers and networks. Somewhere in between, I was involved in the automotive industry. Outside of the IT, I wear a couple of other hats. I'm a proud father of three amazing kids and a world player of uh, Capture the Flag competitions. So uh, thank you for joining me today. I will take the second slide, please. Okay, before we start, uh, let's be clear. Uh, the demonstration today are purely educational and geared out in a secure private environment. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and can lead to imprisonment. So never hack without explicit permission. So that's being said, uh, we could move to the next slide, please. Uh, today, using my Parrot OS, we will conduct an penetration testing on two machines in order to assess their security vulnerabilities. First, a web server running on Ubuntu system with a WordPress CMS on, top, on the top of it. And second, a subsystem with a HANA database uh, running on a SUSE Linux Enterprise server. So, uh, like on the slide, you can see we will first uh, change some uh, WordPress admin, uh, administration panel uh, access. Then we will inject a reverse shell code. Uh, we will obtain the access to the shell. Uh, we will enumerate the, the first machine a little bit. Uh, then we will find some credentials, I hope, and to the second machine, to the slash 12 uh, machine, where, where we'll do it real quick. We'll use exploit and chain root in a second. So that's uh, that's all from my side. Uh, we, can, we could start the uh the demo if you all are ready to go with me um oh uh, what's also a little bit important uh, i will share my screen right now okay this is my parrot os desktop uh, but what uh, but uh, still to be said about the demo environment uh, uh, i'd like to emphasize that these systems are not specially prepared to the system uh, prepared the system and services are fresh installations out of the box they reflect real life situation and problems that may occur in various companies and on various systems okay uh, so uh, as you can see this is my parrot OS, uh, I'd like to don't see this anymore. 
Okay, let's send it like this. I'm sorry, I'm just clearing a little bit my, my screen before we start. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready. Sorry for the inconvenience. So, uh, as said, uh, we will start with a penetration test of a of a machine. We have the uh, we have uh, an address. It's called dot uh, dot your company. So let's ping it. Ping. Oh, where am I? I think. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, I have some Bluetooth connection problem. Okay, here is okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry, uh, my keyboard just uh, just lost his connection to the to the laptop. Uh, being that that up here. Okay, come. So uh, we are checking. No, this is not my company. This is why I was performing this thing test. Mateusz, we can't hear you. Penetration test on it. Uh, uh, Mateusz, you can see Mateusz, it's live. Uh, so let's uh, just uh, look what some uh, ports, uh, what services are running. We will use a um, Nmap uh, network scanner uh, with the SC, which will run the basic scripts, and an SV, which will enumerate the version. Uh, so let's just run it. Uh, we also will deploy a Firefox because uh, as we can see, the address is dot, dot, dot. So <laughs> everybody knows this has to be uh, um, our, our website server. So uh, let's uh, just copy it because I have a small... Okay. Okay, the website is running. Uh, our network scanner showed us that the port 80 is open. Port 80, okay, it's not uh, it's not a secure connection, but please remember this is a private network uh, environment, so nobody can sniff our packets. So this time it's okay, but uh, in production and real life, uh, this is this is unacceptable. The port should be 443 for for a TLS secure connection. Uh, but as said, this is uh, okay for demo purposes. Uh, on this port 80, uh, we have our HTTP server running and Apache. Uh, we can see the version here also that is running on an Ubuntu system. Uh, this is fine. Uh, the title is your company. We do fantastic things at a good price. The same things we can see here on the website. So yes, this is the same website. Uh, what we can see, what we didn't know before, is this is a WordPress. Yeah? So this is a CMS service uh, with the version 6.2. To uh, we can go to WordPress over there. Or and uh, find out that this time we have a HTTPS connection. Uh, go to WordPress, get WordPress. Okay, we can see this is the actual version, yes, 62, 62. This is an up to date version, so everything is good. Uh, from the company side, we already know this is a WordPress, so on the side, there is nothing important for us. Uh, what we can see is uh, great things in a good price, all for one moment. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and we can see on the bottom WordPress powered by WordPress. So we have three indications that this is a WordPress site, so it has to be a WordPress site. Uh, so let's, uh, okay, let's make one more thing because, I don't know, okay, it's robots uh, says there's a WP admin. So from, from enumeration side, we are 1,001% sure this is our WordPress site. Okay, maybe this, this copy I 
would like to have this address at least. I'll just paste it over here and then we can go to login.php, I think. Uh, I think it's not like this because it should be a WP login PHP. Yep. Uh, so again, a WordPress logo, username, password. This is a CMS login uh, portal. So usually when we see something like this, we go like admin, admin. No, it's not working. But what we can see, there is the first vulnerability. This uh, WordPress server is vulnerable for user enumeration, what we can see right here. There is an error and uh, there is written the username admin is not registered on the site. So automatically we know there is no admin account on this site. So brute forcing or any, any other password spraying like admin123 or admin123 doesn't make any, any sense because the user just don't exist. So uh, to gain access to this admin panel to take over the server, we need to enumerate uh, this, uh, the users from, from this WordPress, uh, which is kind of easy because as I said, uh, there are several other ways to do this. So even it would be protected against this uh, user enumeration, there are other ways to, to do it. But this is the easiest way. Yes, we can just use a script that is uh, called uh, wscan, uh, wp scan, uh, dash dash URL. Uh, space HTTP check on slash dot dot. Okay, so uh, I have some real problems with, with the name of the company. So to be sure, I just paste it. Not okay. So uh, W scan dash URL uh, to an address of the website and make a simple enumeration. So when we start the scan. Uh, and it's just doing the, the job for me. As said, uh, to enumerate the user, there are, there are several other ways. So this is not the only one, even if this panel would be protected. So it would always reply uh, something like incorrect, not that the admin is not there or the user is not there or the user is there. So uh, it's it's possible to enumerate through the users in, in other ways too. Okay, uh, our work this uh, scan is, uh, is working in the background uh, and uh, and we can already analyze what we have here. So the headers, uh, Apache, this is something that we already know from the NMAP scan. Also the robots.txt is visible, that, uh, that was also visible in the NMAP scan. What we didn't see before, it's an uh, XML RPC, it's over there. This is not okay because uh, we can make a denial of service attack. Uh, you can just go to Rapid7, it's the producer of Metasploit, and there is a point by point written how to make an uh, and DOS attack. And if this would be a production server uh, and, and uh, a denial of service attack would just uh, get you out of the internet. So nobody could buy your products or contact you. So the site would be not visible anymore. Uh, but this is not the, the point of attack for today. What does readme find? Uh, Chrome. Chrome is another DOS uh, possibility. Yes, so a WordPress Chrome service running, it's a PHP service, you can also make it in a hard loop and make a denial of service of the of this whole system, of the WordPress uh, system. WordPress version 662, as being said before, it's the latest version. It was released in May 20th, so there is no, no newer one. Uh, so good from the administrator from the site uh, to, to have it uh, always to the up to date. There is a team 2017 that we will use a little bit later. And now we are looking forward for, but this was the most interesting part, it's users on the fight. So the script found for me that there is a registered user mark. Uh, let's make it a little bit wider. Uh, there is a user mark, there is a user John, and there is a user Hans. So uh, we have three users. Let's, let's try mark, mark with admin. What we can see here, it's the password you entered for the username mark is incorrect. So we, see, I hope you see the difference between the user does not exist and uh, the user is uh, 
uh, is here, but the password is incorrect. Uh, what we will do right now, I would like, oh, okay. I would like to have this, but I see uh, there is no plugin which I need. Here is my plugin. Uh, I would like to show you something uh, from a burp suite. So in here is my burp suite add-on. Sweet. Uh, this is a proxy, and so we can uh, we can uh, intercept the traffic between my computer because uh, between my browser and the server. So all the requests that are being sent to the server are proxied through Burp Suite. This is a community edition, uh, and here there are also other ways. Let's use the proxy intercept is on. So let's make it again with mark mark well let's say i don't think it's his password but i would like to have this one so we intercepted here with work uh, uh the post request which was sent to the php file and uh, what i'm interested in is this part uh, i will use it in a second you will see uh, when i will use some a brute forcer to uh, send the right requests to the to the um, to the WordPress panel. So for here, this is all what I wanted to have. I turn off Bob because I always forget this. Okay, let's go back here. So I will copy this for later. So please, please keep in mind. We find out that uh, the site is uh, going with log is equal to login. TVD is equal to password, and this is the uh, the rest of the phrase also with a cookie that is sent to the uh, to the PHP file with a post request. Okay, I don't need this anymore, so I close it. So uh, let's make uh, an nano is uh, editor. It's like Notepad, but in Linux systems, nano. Uh, uh, let's call the file like um, VP users, All right? And we have Mark, John, and Hans. So, John, Hans, Mark. Let's save it. The file is on my computer right now, and let's go with Hydra. Uh, I will prepare this. Sentence. Let's use show what this might work. Let's use this Hydra one liner. So what we have in here is uh, I'm gonna using a, a brute forcer, it's Hydra, it's uh, widely used for brute forcing with uh, a part was this uh, so word brute forcing. Uh, of SSH of, uh, of admin panels like this one. So uh, it's just a proof of so an automatic one. And so uh, we will use uh, the file uh, WP users that we create with the free users names inside. Then we will go and use a work list, uh, which I prepared for this. There are many work lists. This is from Seclist, uh, I guess, uh, if I remember. Uh, we will go with the request on port 80. To this address with our HTTP post form request, and this is the part that uh, that we copied the last part in here uh, from from uh, from the web sheet. So this is uh, how we get to this. And uh, we use this. Okay, let's let's try. It should work. Yes. So what are we doing? We are sending requests with for user John right now with several passwords from from the password file. So it's nothing else like book for him. Brute forcing. I'm sorry. Uh, this stage, uh, we would use a, a big uh, work list, like it would take uh, days, weeks. Uh, I hope this time it's going to be a little bit easier so the password is not too complex. Uh, so let's, let's wait. We have already 700 tries. So in this under one minute, we, we have like 1,000 tries of different passwords for one user. Uh, as you saw, we made a user file. So uh, if he doesn't find nothing for John, then he switched right away to Hans. But we have a, uh, we have a match. Uh, we have a small success here. 
because we can see that Hydra uh, found on port 80 or on the HTTP post form on this address for user John a password. Ah, what a nice password. Let's look. It's a summer 2023, so somebody is thinking about vacations. And everybody knows this is a real standard password. It's, you widely use it. If I would not use this word list, if I would uh, use an attack called password spraying, then believe me, summer 222 or 23 or winter or uh, autumn or something like that would be in my small password list to try. Anyway, let's see if our user John, which we enumerated and found the password like some uh, three exclamation mark is working. Yes, it's working. So, ladies and gentlemen, we just get access to the administration panel of our WordPress server. Uh, what's uh, important in here? Let's see. Sites health status. Uh, it's nice. It says good. It's green. It says the administrator always oh, okay, nothing to worry about. Uh, but I think you should be worried about because I'm already in the admin panel, so <laughs> don't make him too sleepy. Okay, the two indications. One is the HTTPS, which I thought, but we are working here in a private environment, so uh, there is a small excuse. So everybody in my at my network can sniff the packets and can sniff also the password I sent. So in production, uh, there is no excuse in 2023 uh, to use HTTP on the white map. So this would be a killer. Anyway, and the second one is just a cache. Uh, the cache is working fine, so the response is okay. So uh, actually, if not those two, then we would be perfect here, and the administrator of the admin of the WordPress site uh, would be happy that he is a really good and secure uh, environment over here. Anyway. To not go too uh, too long, uh, we can add a new post. I hope. Who is John? What can he do? Test. Test. Uh, test. Uh, let's publish it. Publish it. Copy the URL and let's try. Okay, we know that our user John Smith uh, has the privilege to post uh, new, to change the site, to post uh, some some information on the website. So this is good. So actually, if I would like to just be a little bit uh, as uh, and make some fun, I'm able to make a fun and change the the WordPress site. But this is not what we uh, came here. For. Let's go back. Uh, okay, let's make it quick. Uh, we could make a, a malicious plugin, import it, gain access, but today we are going the real easy way. And uh, we will go to the theme editor. We will use a theme. We will use, I usually use the 404, but uh, not, in, uh, not as easy like this. I would hide my scripts a little bit more or use a plugin and call the plugin, but this is a you know, show quick show of stuff. Uh, let's edit the 304 template PHP file of the 2017 uh, theme of the WordPress. I have here already uh, prepared a one-liner. Uh, so this is a PHP code which opens a socket to this address, which is my parrot Linux address on the port 443, and it will call with a bin bash with an interactive mode. So let's look if we can update the file. Yes, we can have, uh, edit it successfully. So our user, John, has, um, I think, uh, medium or even uh, administrator rights on this uh, WordPress uh, instance. And he can also edit the PHP uh, theme files, which is great for us because we just make this one liner, which will call us. But to make this happen, uh, we need to open a listener, so, so the netcat and dash uh, sudo will ask for my password, there is no problem, it's my machine, I know the password, but maybe I make a typo, yes I did. Oh, 
I don't know my password anymore. Ah, no, 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 no. I see the problem. It's not NV, it's in C, not cat. Okay, so it's listening uh, on port 443. Uh, and what we need to do, we need to call ourselves. So we need to call this file, this uh, 404 template. It's a WordPress, so it's always keeping it files uh, in an ordered manner, so everybody knows where everything is. So I know that this file is in the VB content file, in the Thames, in the 2017 theme, and this is the 5404. If I wouldn't know this, I would use a DRAM enumeration and I would enumerate the files in the server and get to this just a little bit longer. But this is a WordPress, so everybody knows where, where the files are. So look for this magic, which will just call this file, and it called me back with a reverse shell uh, to my listener. So uh, this I will not need anymore. Uh, this too. Okay. Um, for later, I will just keep it down there. Okay. Uh, so what do we have right now? We are on the system. Yes, we gained uh, access to the shell of the Ubuntu system. Let's make it new name. Minus A. Yes, this is uh, Linux. Uh, the host name is WP Server. It's an Ubuntu system, 23, so everything is okay. Who, who am I? I am a user dot dot data. Uh, this is an automatic account uh, for providing this the, the www the dot 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 services, so the World Wide Web. Uh, what uh, it's important, this user has some permission and others not. ID, as we can see, is in the group of dot dot data. Uh, but for 99%, he has access to a config file of the WordPress server. So let's go cd. Let's go here. So we just went uh, three directories uh, below. Those, uh, and we can see that the data is the owner of the WordPress. And so we can see please speak a bit louder if you can. Uh, we be config PHP. Let's go in and let's cut it out. Okay, this is the file printed out. So we can see the secure keys. So we could also the TLS encryption uh, would be. Uh, would be not a problem for us, but I am searching for this database username, DB WordPress, uh, database password, cybersecurity. This is in this file because WordPress needs to has access to the MySQL uh, database uh, where everything is stored, so it just has to have this access. So the user WordPress has a password cybersecurity. So for now, we know that in our environments is our user John, is our user Mark, and our Hans. And we know already that there is a password in use like summer 23 exclamation mark and another password, uh, cybersecurity. Okay, uh, I could enumerate the system manually like this uh, for hours and, uh, and hours, uh, but uh, there are also some scripts. Uh, EMT, let's move to the temporary folder where I have write access. Uh, let's open another, uh, another shell. Uh, and here is like, okay, the VP users, let's go to upload. Uh, okay, and okay, let's make it one more time. Uh, and let's start a simple HTTP server so I can download files from my power devices. I could also try uh, to download it from the internet, but uh, I know what's on my Linux, and I would like to use my private file, so let's go like sudo python python minus n http on port 80. Yes, it's in. Okay, great. Uh, but what I wanted to see, I wanted to Those, see. Those, excuse files. me, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, so we started an HTTP, a really simple one server on my Parrot OS uh, on port 80. This is why I used sudo again, because this is a port under 1000. Uh, and I'm uh, hosting some files which we can see in here. There will be a need for them uh, today. Okay, uh, so 
Anyway, uh, let's go and download those files like the that you get. Okay, 10.0.5. If I remember, okay, it's that seven. It's uh, our address of uh, of this, and let's take in enum. I'm taking a really old enumeration script. You can see I have some newer ones like Linkies, which I really love. Uh, but I would like to show that uh, that even the old-fashioned scripts are doing their job still in 2023. Guess what we made here? I use uh, wget to copy this file from my server, but we can see my HTTP server get a request and he provided with a status 200 defining in NOSH. So it's already here. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, somehow it copied that. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's make a chain mode because we would like to have the file executable. executable. Okay. Just NSH. Okay. So we are able now to run this. SH, uh, but I would like to uh, to make a word uh, a word search also for the word like password. So it would also enumerate standard inputs, so standard um, files for the word fast phrase like password. So let's do it. Okay. Uh, so the script is running, but we can already start to, um, to read what's true. We could spend some, some hours on it, uh, really focus on every single line, because uh, in my job, enumeration is the key. So what I can enumerate, this, uh, this leads uh, later to a success. Uh, so it's an Ubuntu, it's a 22 for old version, Jamie. It's a long-term support, so as much as I know, this is the actual version of the long-term support server version. There is also that six version, but it's only a, a desktop version. This one is the latest uh, version of, of server, Ubuntu server system. Uh, the host name, we can see that we are currently the user that, that, that data. Uh, oh, and can see that previously logged to the system was a user Mark and John Smith. Okay, I guess uh, John, John Smith, uh, something like us, <laughs> maybe. Uh, there are also other users on the system, like Mark, like John Smith, like Hans Müller, Markus Schmidt, and, uh, and Tom Brown. Uh, some administration users are also over here, but Mark, Mark is an admin. So I guess he has uh, sudo, yes, he has sudo access, so he's the root of the system. Uh, the, ETC password file is the same as before. Yes, Mark has the sudo file. It's okay. Uh, home users, it's the same users. So we can see on every user has access to his own directory. Uh, so nobody uh, from, from that data we will have no access to this directory. So we'll see this in a second. Okay, let's go a little bit faster through it. Chrome jobs. Okay, uh, in real life, in real penetration testing, every single line is really important. But right now we are a little bit in a hurry, I think. Uh, yes, real time is, is going really fast. Okay, binary, MySQL config, an interesting file. And we all like to look inside. We have the my SQL credentials in the WordPress and, and cybersecurity, as we all remember. Well, let's go down. Okay, fast. So many things are on our system. And this is a really a basic script. Uh, usually, I would also make it uh, by hand. Uh, okay, my SQL sudo Apache Apache nothing important. Oh, everything what I've been tested like a netcat, wget, uh, a C compiler, nice. Okay, SUID files. This is something uh, on a Linux system which really is uh, the fun part. Okay, I see something. It's a find uh, with SUID. Uh, if you know them, then you know. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, even it's here highlighted like interesting files. Um, but we are not going to use this file for today. No, we are not going to change root. We just want something that we will find in a second. Okay, you see here is the cybersecurity also a second lens like WordPress W config PHP. There is the cybersecurity fast based a hard code that and it has to be hard coded. So, um, so it's like that. Okay, we can see something funny because we can see the bash history file, uh, which is usually not possible, but the find was written as so it's, that's why it's possible to see. And John Smith, oh yeah, let's look. John Smith copied his identity to a sub HQ Prod 99 your company computer. Uh, let's copy this part. No, let's copy this one. It's better. He has his H over there, so so make a copy for later. Uh, so this guy was SSHing his himself somewhere. Let's make a small test. Share paste. Okay, permission denied public key. So without the public key, there is no possibility to log into this uh, to this sub HQ headquarters production 99 server, something like that. Uh, so uh, there is no uh, password passphrase. There is a RSA key needed to log in over there. Okay. okay. Uh, let's go further. So he copied this identity. His Key. So he has to have this key in his uh, in his files. Okay, there's also some history for the Mac uh, power of so, so Okay, we see this is the administrator. Okay, this is the end of the file. So what's what's really interesting interesting is is this SSH to transfer to the second to the second system. Uh, what we can see here also it's uh, I could make this creep. Uh, to show you some manual enumeration, uh, we could use also just the grip commands to get the cybersecurity out, uh, or we could use also a find command to look in the user's uh, history files. You can see I just uh, I will execute uh, too fast. Um, I'm just using the find. Uh, I will see it here. Uh, here, we are just using the find command in the home directory to look for the bash history and print it for an execution. The rest goes to no to, to the Netherlands. Okay, never mind. So, uh, I want this SSH file. This is my target right now. So, I'll go to CD. Uh, so, we see all the users. Uh, uh, we see all those users. This is John Smith. There's some files inside. Okay, CD. Um, no. Permission denied. Okay, sure. So, uh, so, so. Yeah. And as we all remember, the password to the WordPress server was summer two o two three exclamation mark. And no, it's not this, uh, but I changed the second password. Uh, it's actually for the MySQL database, but why not? Uh, switch user, John Smith. And the password is Okay, there is no failure. Okay, it seems we changed uh, his shell. We are John Smith right now. Uh, so we are still in. Uh, okay, I don't like this. Uh, let's pimp a little bit this uh, script uh, minus Q C slash 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 slash. Okay, there is not this. This is the problem. The rest I can copy. No, no, 
it's like a, nah. so now we see we are still in the home directory. So let's go inside like uh, CD John. We are inside as uh, notes. Let's see everything here. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, there is an ID on SA inside for John Smith. So only he can read it. So there was no other possibility to gain access to this site as this user or, or the root. The root user could also make that. Um, but so the root user is not the target for today. Uh, for those who saw this uh, find as UID, they know that get chaining root user account on this system is like five minutes, but it's not what we are searching for right now. But let's cut the ID and let's hope it's inside. Okay, we have the uh, John's ID RSA. I'm pretty sure it's leading uh, to the to the SSH server, the second one. Uh, so what do we do? We just copy this. And we will copy this uh, RSA key from the beginning to the very bottom. Okay, uh, this shell, uh, I don't need it. I will put it down. Uh, this can be handy. Let's keep it still here. Uh, let's use a new shell. And let's make it a bit wider. Okay, uh, so what do we do? We use nano. Nano is the notepad uh, in Linux systems as we talk already. Nano uh, ID RSA. We paste inside the whole key. It's really important to not change, do not make any spaces. It has to be exactly like it is. Write it down. It's over there. We have it. ID RSA. So uh, we have in our memory this one. Yes, so this John Smith SSH, we know it needs a public key. So we have this key right now. Uh, so we just use it like minus E, ID RSA. Okay, I know that the ID RSA has, uh, has wrong privileges. We will change it permission 0 to 6 ID to open. So SSH doesn't like uh, files that uh, word readable or, or user readable. Uh, so, uh, let's see where it is. I will show you what's the point here. It is, and we can see it's readable. It's word readable. Everybody on the system, doesn't matter who it is, can see the key. SSH hates it. It doesn't allow it. So we need to uh, change mode. Uh, let's say to 600 for the ID RSA. So uh, we look right now in here, we see there is only read write for the owner. Yeah, so the six and just zeros for the rest. Okay, so now let's let's check our ID RSA file and let's call this uh, the subsystem. Uh, there is a passphrase for the ID RSA key, but we know summer 2023 explanation mark. Nope. Cyber security. No. Let me in. No. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, we will just brute force. We have some uh, word list, so we'll try to, to, to find, uh, to figure out the password. Um, this is an idea RSA, so John the Ripper doesn't understand it, uh, but we will make SSH to John. Uh, ID RSA, let's pipe it to crack me. Okay, we have a new file, crack me. And uh, let's use Sean the Ripper. Dash dash word list. I will make a spell equals my user share word list, my word list. Uh, I need to erase this space. This was just for easy typing. Uh, and I'll use the crack me. I will not indicate the, uh, the key because this is uh, all characters are for John. So let's hope it works. John is working. John is done. Uh, we have here, this is the password. The password for the RICK is password with two dollar signs and a zero, ID RSA. Okay, let's, let's use it one more time. 
so SSH minus A, John Smith. Okay, let's make the A. John Smith at a subsystem. Okay, great. We have here our, well, what are we? Uh, host name is sub, so host name uh, is sub h course. Uh, you let's say it's a Linux. Uh, let's cast this slash etc slash issue. Okay, we are welcome to the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 12 uh, edition with a Service Spark uh, 4. Service Spark 4 on the 12. It's not the up to date version like the before servers, but it's a real uh, common uh, version of our SUSE Linux uh, used widely all around the world. So uh, maybe some, some of my viewers here have a system like this. Let's Google it. SUS 12 SP SP4. Let's see what we can make with, with a system like this. Uh, CV details, great. This is what I would like to have. Let's make it bigger. I don't know if you can see this. I will make it a little bit bigger for everybody. Uh, so this is a CVE details uh, list. So CVEs uh, are unknown vulnerabilities. There, every vulnerability has its name. Uh, and, uh, those are specified for Linux enterprise servers. So some of them are already mitigated, some not. Uh, so let's look for a nice one. Let's look for this one. CVE 2021 for D34. It's 7.2, so it's pretty high. It got its mitigations uh, two months ago, like three months ago. It's a local privilege escalation vulnerability found in a Polkit library. So, um, so what it uh, does, it's, uh, it's leverages our, our, our privilege. So from our regular user, we can maybe be somebody important in the system because in here we are John Smith and the user John Smith. Okay, CD slash. Let's look around. No, that's not okay. It's better. Let's look around. Oh, we have a HANA. It's a sub HANA system. Yeah, uh, subsystem is the group before admin is the owner. Uh, it's readable but it's not right table. So my user can look inside, I guess. Uh -huh. Data. Oh, that's what's inside, okay, something like that. Okay, we just go a little bit deeper. So my user see those system, we can see, but he can read, there is the database. One of the databases is because this is the most shared drive, HDB, hard disk B. There are more of them, uh, but uh, I can only see it once at one time. Do not touch the files. Uh, but my user cannot find this. We can look inside into the data volume, into the database, uh, but uh, we cannot change it. We cannot do nothing more than just look, which is already a small success, but uh, this is a user, he, he, has, uh, he, he needs access to this file. So, okay, uh, let's go, let's go home. Uh, we are in John Smith's uh, home directory right now. Uh, what else? Uh, about the poll kit, we can change, look at the version of the poll kit. To our vulnerability, uh, it's 0113. As I mentioned, enumeration is the key. Uh, and uh, and I know I'm really for sure not that this version from the SP4 is vulnerable for the uh, CVE 21.40.34. And I just run a small script, as you can see. I called a file from my system, from my Linux. I downloaded them. I compiled them on the system. And I executed them, and guess what? 
I am already root. So I own the system, the sub system, the sub SUSE, HANA, database, everything belongs to me right now. Who am I? I am root, I am the god of the system. I can erase it, I can do everything what I really would like to have. So let's make a small exit, I'm still cached. Okay, so uh, this was actually it. Uh, it took almost 50 minutes. Sorry for some uh, for some errors in the beginning. The Bluetooth device is uh, just disconnected first my headphones and my keyboard, uh, but uh, luckily they are working uh, now uh, again. So so it's not that bad. Uh, about some mitigations, yes, uh, we have the um, uh, the machine A, the WordPress server. Uh, there was the user enumeration vulnerability. This is not acceptable today. The system should be protected against it. It should say always user and password incorrect, but never indicate that the user is on the system or just the password matches something. This is really bad for today. Uh, so um, there was another um, weak point. Uh, I could uh, brute force it. There should be a counter. The, the number of login attempts should be limited. There are some ways uh, to, to set it up. So uh, let's say uh, three times bad password, block the user for five, ten minutes, then my attack, the brute force uh, with a word twist, would not um, take place. It, it, it wouldn't succeed. Uh, okay, the password, like uh, summer 23 explanation mark. <laughs> so uh, this is funny, uh, but I guess some of you uh, have this password, or maybe with a hashtag or shebang at the end, but, uh, but it's a real common password, uh, especially the, uh, when, when we have an enterprise with a uh, three months um, change password policy, which is not bad today, or, which, is, which is real bad for today. Uh, the password policy should be like uh, change a password one or twice a year and use a, a password manager to have a complex password. But when you force your user to change your password three times, four times a year, then he's seeking for something easy like winter, summer, makes a year to this, make some special characters and then he's fine with the policy. But, uh, but for people like me, a penetrator or ethical hacker, uh, which am I, uh, it's easy to guess. And then we just make a small password spray and gain access to the system. Uh, we could also uh, restrict, uh, enable a uh, second factor or multi-factor authentication to the to the WordPress server. So uh, then I could not gain access to the admin panel, and if this would not happen, then I never get uh, could get into the system inside uh, and get the and the, get the keys and enumerate the system from the inside. So. Uh, so we, if we would implement some points uh, from, from my advice, uh, then this would never happen. Oh, and there, uh, another thing, there is a password reuse, yes? Because the IDRSA uh, was using the same password as the MySQL database user, the Word, uh, WordPress user. Uh, uh, has the password cybersecurity as, uh, uh, as access to the MySQL. So we have that password reuse, which is also another KPs use. Uh, um, a password manager have a, a password for every service um, individual. Then even if uh, a bad guy uh, gets a password, uh, he has a password only for one service. He cannot reuse it anymore uh, or anywhere else. Anywhere else. On the second machine, and this was really quick, yes, this was the SUSE Enterprise Linux server, uh, because uh, there is a known vulnerability of the poll kit. It's also an SUID. Uh, the patch was pretty new, as I showed you. It came uh, this year on um, end, uh, end February, beginning of March. So not everybody has patched the systems yet. Uh, some system cannot be patched because uh, when we go uh, uh, look deeper, uh, that SUSE uh, made the patch, but not for every system. There are some so, uh, like Azure versions um, or AWS versions. I don't know. I don't remember exactly which one, uh, which doesn't have a patch. So the vulnerability cannot be patched for today for the system. Um, so my mitigation for this is uh, uh, take down the SUID from from the uh, PKX or the pocket file. So that's all for me. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I can. Uh, and uh, look at my small animation after we encrypted the Safana database. Uh, there is a call all for one group to prevent such a situation. So you're welcome <laughs> to, to call us all for one inquiry. Thank you.
Uh, Mateusz, thank you very much for your presentation and thank you all listeners for your participation. The webinar will be available on our website and YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch our other webinars and register for the upcoming ones. Uh, if you have any questions related to IT security issues or uh, any other of one competences also in the SAP area, uh, please contact us. After the webinar, there will be presented a short survey. I, can, I encourage you to complete it. One more time, thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you, bye. Thank <laughs> you.